I come out, the womb twerking, so this is very easy. This is my comfort zone, you know, so it's part of my culture from New Orleans. We have bounce music, and that's what we dance to, um, and it's up all about a chicken ass. So now that twerking has reinserted itself into mainstream culture, I wanted to see how some modern African dance groups hold on to traditional moves while incorporating the twerk. <laughs> In the city. Real Africans, real stories. <laughs> Twerking. The fast paced booty gyrating movement has become a global phenomenon. All over the world, men, women, yep, and children are shaking that booty more than ever. Thanks to pop star Miley Cyrus, the once outdated dance style of the 90s is back with some upgrades. So, do people ask you guys, oh, can y'all twerk in my video? Do people ask y'all? Yes. Some people did, yeah, but we I don't mean, keep do it professional. That. Yeah, we don't do that. But I say no. We can do it like between, like, between girls or Have just chilling home, right. but outside start. No, no, we can't do that in no, somebody's video. Like, that's going to make us look. We're not trying to insult people who does that, but I mean, everybody yeah. got his opinion about everything. But Some people yeah. just. <laughs> They're doing too much and it's not like, even in the club you see some people lay down like on the floor or no, that. But would you, would you guys, um, for a certain amount of money, would you twerk? No. In no. No. <laughs> in a video you have an image. Hey. We are the Supreme, Supreme Dancers. Dancers. We do like an Afrobeat dancing, but it's yes. also combined with contemporary light feet. We just want people to see the art and all of our moves. Like it comes exactly. from the waist, and we also use other parts of our bodies. And you know what? What is that you do? Yeah. What is that? What is that it called? Is. You call it? A, is a name for it? Like yeah. The flexing. Yeah. Okay. Like you know, we use our body as well, and then it goes to the hips. You it's know, not we don't just, just the booty. Uh huh. It's not just the booty. That's that's what. So I'm what is to that say. you do? <laughs> We're doing that again. <laughs> Would it also be like your dance moves be similar to like twerking? Yes. I yes. was I would say yes. In Africa, m moving the butt is a way of dance, and some of the songs are even named after you know. So when when they say the song or the title or the chorus in the song, you're like actually Calabash. singing to do the the dance, you know, mm -hmm. and it's actually telling you to move your ways. <laughs> And she's right, twerking is really nothing new in Africa. It just goes by different names. Throughout the continent, various cultures have had their own version of twerking for centuries. There's Mapuka dance or the dance of the behind in Ivory Coast. The women of Tanzania's Tanga tribe have the Bakoko dance, Angola's Kaduru, and there's so many more. Who made twerk? Who made that word? I feel like it was originating <laughs> in Africa and people in the US. Changed, they, it. changed it. Yeah, they, they, they turned it into their own type kind of, of a scandalous for you strippers. Know, that scene for strippers. We don't judge. We don't. But we just wouldn't do it that way. A lot of people outside look at dancing as like not serious yeah, or out there. They're not gonna like, make it that far. That's exactly. something you should always have. So, Especially African parents, they think we should always have a backup plan. My mom knows my passion for dance. Everybody around her in the African community always says your daughter is a star, blah blah blah. But to African parents they have to see you on the big screen yeah. to really like, oh my God. The Supreme dancers have been dancing together for about a year. They are products of New York City's vast art scene, having studied at the Manhattan Theater Lab, which is in the neighborhood of the famous LaGuardia School of the Performing Arts. 
I used to light feet. She used to be a light feet to... dancer. Life feet is a different culture. It's like I, I can't show it now. It's urban, but yeah, it's more hip hop. Very hip hop. A lot of flexing to do with it. Um, it's footwork. A lot of footwork. Body That's body. where we get our footwork from. New York City is no doubt one of the arts and culture capitals of the world. And because of this, I really wasn't shocked to find out about a rare twerk workout class where choreographer Soraya Lundi was teaching folks how to twerk. Ow. Twerking is really just showing your fem you as a woman, your femininity and it also is predominantly, you know, the lower half of your body. But I know what I do is, is a little bit more or less than just shaking, is also involving hip hop and a lot of those elements. So we don't just shake our ass. <laughs> we add other elements as well. You're gonna go three and four. So this here, all I'm doing is pushing my weight to either side, so either right, left, so what is this? This goes for me, right, left, right. Okay, so don't rock your body, okay, so just look this way. Yeah, I'm just shifting my weight. You see I mean, this? I know in Russia, these girls are killing it and having these crazy workshops. I mean, really all over people, I know people are twerk, teaching twerking. But for New York City, it hasn't really been going on, especially consistent. And I know I have my crew, Banji Twerk Team. So it's something I would like to happen in New York, hopefully on a week, weekly basis. <laughs> I mean, I've been twerking since I was a little girl. It's just uh, getting you as a woman and showcasing that, like, and just being, you know, feminine. Like, it's not like, like people say twerking is like, oh, you know, like it's, yeah. like, not yeah. allowed or it's inappropriate. And from back in the 90s, they were twerking in the video. Fly girls, they was twerking. Like, everyone has been doing this for a long, it's nothing new. Hey, step one, two, look, three, six. We're twerking, we're shaking our butts, learning how to move. I dance, and I also teach fitness classes. I teach Zumba, Soka Motion, I crunch. This is my first time, and I really hope she has more, because, oh my god, so fun. I feel like when you watch Soraya go, she's like, fuck it. And if you own it like that, then Godspeed, go for it. And I think it's about being confident, so. Yeah, if you work so, it, you can do so it. So would you come back to one of these? Oh, classes? yeah. But first, I'm going to practice in my room a little bit. Got to work this work. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll come back. I'm going right. to tighten up my game a little bit. safe to say that twerk is here to stay and who knows how this popular yet controversial dance fad will evolve as the times change. I mean there's always a new dance on the scene. But one thing is for sure, no matter who you are, strippers, dancers, just at home or at an around the way party, twerk all boils down to the freedom of expression. We really was inspired by our culture. Uh huh. Cause growing like, up, um, like being African and growing up, you go to a lot of parties exactly. and the music, and then the people you hang around, like your family members, it just stays with you. Everywhere and you go. We want people to see why we love African music so much. Mm -hmm. Africa in the city. Real Africans, real stories.